Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 709. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Chat link, and you can download the workbook. It's a Magic Trick 707 to 710. Hey, in this trick here, here's our data set. And this is supplier data with telephone numbers. And we want to be able to add records to the bottom. So we're going to need dynamic ranges. And we want to be able to, on this sheet, simply type in whichever area code and then pull up all of the suppliers records, just like that. Now, if we're going to do dynamic ranges, which I've done videos on before, and we have to be able to add records below, uh, we, we in this case, we'd have to maybe do uh, lots of different columns. But what I'd like to do is see if we can think of how to do one dynamic range that will pick up so for this column A, that will pick up any records added below. But when we use it in a formula over here, this name, columns from data answer, as we move it over to successive columns, I need it to move relatively. So that means we're going to have to do a define name uh, dynamic range formula using offset and relative cell references. All right, so uh, let's see how to do this. This is where we'll have our extract. We need to create our dynamic ranges first. Uh, first, I want to create a straightforward dynamic range for the phone column, because we're going to use that in our counting formula. So I'm going to come over here, and we're going to use the offset function. Once we create our formula here, we're copying, and then we'll paste it up and defi into define names. And then we can use that name in our formula. We'll use offset. Offset's great. It takes five arguments, and it will create a dynamic range. The first one is reference. Where do you want your range to start? I'm going to click right there, because for phone, it always starts there. Hit the F4 key. Comma. From that starting position, do we need to move up or down any rows? No. You could put a zero there or leave it out by just typing a comma. Columns. Again, we don't need to move from that starting point. That is our starting point. Zero or leave it out, comma. The height, I'm going to use the counter, because counter will count non-blank cells. Uh, click on that E right there. Notice it puts the E in. I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it. That will be, this is not a relative uh, reference to find name. This is our first one to use for phone. Our second name will be a relative reference, but we can compare and contrast what this looks like here compared to what we just do in just a moment. All right, now that's going to give me one too many if I'm starting right there, so I'm going to subtract one. That's the height. Now, comma, what about the width? Well, width by default is one, so I'm going to leave that out. You can just leave it out altogether and then close parentheses. Now I'm going to copy this, scoop it, copy. I'm going to enter this here and leave it here. Just in case I have trouble, I need to come back and do that again. Control F3 is opens up a, in earlier version, define name, or in this version, name manager. I'm going to click New. I'm going to type Phone. I'm going to come down here, Control V. Click OK. Notice. There's no sheet reference name there, but when you click OK, sure enough, now there's a sheet reference name right there. And we want to check it. I want to collapse this, and sure enough, it looks like it's uh, looking at the right range there. Now let's do our next range. And here's the idea. We need it to look at this column. But again, in a formula, as we copy, it needs to then look here, 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 et cetera. So we'll do basically the same thing, equals offset. Our starting position will be right here, except for I'm going to hit F4 twice, locked on the row reference, but not the column. Why? Because over here in this formula, when we copy the formula down, it needs to be locked on the name column. But when it, the, the formula over here, when we copy it, it needs to move to city. Thus, column reference not locked, but yes, the row reference is. I'm going to type comma, 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 just as we did before, counter. And similarly, we're going to have to first highlight column A. But we're not going to hit anything. We're not going to use the F4 key. We're going to leave it a relative cell reference. Close parentheses, minus 1. We don't need the width. It by default is 1. Control, Shift, Enter. 
just to show you how this works here in the cell, it's only looking at the first item, but what happens if we go like this and then this? Sure enough, that is um, a dynamic range formula that's looking at successively each one of the first uh, values in that in the column. All right, copy, escape, control F3. Notice I have the names for, for the answer sheet if you download it there. It always comes blank. These names won't be in it when you download it. I'm going to click uh, New. This one's Columns from Table. Click down here, Control V. Notice it's got non, it doesn't have any sheet references there, so I'm going to click OK, and sure enough, there's the sheet references. I'm going to collapse it just to check. It looks like it's working just fine. All right, now let's go create our formulas. First, we need to count. We're going to use, well, we're going to count partial text because we need to find all the 415s in here or all the 510s or whatever as we enter new data. Uh, something else that's very important, I should have, I should just show you. I did a keyboard shortcut for back to general control shift tilde. What happens if I type open parentheses 415? It turns into a negative. That's called format as you type. It's assuming you want a negative there. So control one on this cell before we even start. <coughs> and this is one of the rare times you'll ever see me use text. Text number format, click OK. Now when I type open parentheses 415, it'll stay. It's text. You can see it's aligned to the left. All right, we're going to count, and uh, we're going to have to use the search function. Search can find a subtext string within a larger text string. Now, it's usually expecting a single cell here, but I'm going to hit F3 and double-click my phone. All right, close parentheses. If you highlight this in F9, you can see it gives us a, uh, well, there's only one in this, but all the rest are errors. So we're going to, around the search, go is this a number, right? This will give us trues and falses, but we really don't want that. We want to count, so we'll use some product. Double negative in front of that, which will convert the trues and falses to ones and zeros. Some product will only count the ones. If I change this to area code 510, there's six in this column over here. All right, now. We're going to use this same little bit again. Copy. All right, now, equals if and rows. Now, we have six records right now, so when we copy it down past our six row, we need it to show a blank. So we need to do a true false for that. The row I'm sitting in is A6, A dollar sign, 6 colon A6. Whenever that number increment, or that will increment numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as we go down. Whenever that's greater than 6, that means we've exceeded uh, our row for the, all the records we want to show, F4. If that's the case, there's a logical test, comma, value of true, double quotes for blank. Otherwise, we'll, and then we'll do our index. Index will be able to look up and help us extract records. Now, what is the array? This is the whole trick here. This is our, because we're in the name column, but when we copy the formula over here to city, it needs to move relatively. So I'm in an F3 and columns from table. All right, comma. Now the row number. Well, we're going to have six different matches, and they're at different positions in our table over there. So we need six different row numbers. And we own, of those six row numbers, as we go down, copy our formula down, it needs to successively um, ex take only one of those row numbers. So we're going to use the small. And then we're going to say if. Now our criteria for looking over here and extracting just the rows with this, this uh, area code is going to be control V. Is that. Now that right there needs to be locked, so I'm going to hit the F4. Right now it's just saying it will go through that whole phone column and give me a true anytime it sees that. Well, what in the world does the index function right here 
need. It needs row numbers, right? So here's our inside the small if logical test that'll give us the 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 uh, a true for that particular row. So the value if true is going to be row. Which row number? I'm going to do the F3 and phone. Now that'll give me, uh, you know, two, three, four. When I want, what I really want is one, two, three. So I have to subtract from that row, and this is going to involve a sheet reference. So I have to go back over here and click on the first cell in there and hit the F4 key. Unfortunately, now when I come back over here, uh, let me do that again. Boom. Okay, it's got 709 right there. And I'm going to hit the F4 key and then type a uh, comma. A uh, close parentheses. That's still not what I want because that will give me a uh, row 2 minus 2 is 0, so I have to add 1 back in. All right, that's the value if true because all this this if is number thing is is helping to extract the right row number to dump into small. So I'm going to close parenthesis here. We do not need the value of false. Okay, now the small's got a bunch of row numbers, and if you don't believe it, we can go like this and hit the F9. And sure enough, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Control Z. I could even suspend this and go over here and, and verify. Is that Oops. So five one zero two three five six seven. So those are the right ones. Okay, now that's all of the row numbers, and we only want uh, one each row. So we're going to tell the small to successively pull out the first, the second, the third smallest, etc. That's our number incrementer. Close parentheses on the small close parentheses on the row number because the small will successively dump row numbers in as we copy down value of false we don't uh, we have that it's the index close parentheses control shift enter that's an array formula obviously and there's the big curly brackets the control shift enter is us saying hey Excel this is a, an array formula that curly brackets Excel telling us hey it worked as an array formula alright I'm gonna drag this over and then drag it down and then test it. Area code 415. There's just one. Area code 206. I'm going to come over here and the big test, of course, is can we get um, uh, all of this? How about. Uh, And then uh, the area code in Tacoma, I have no, uh, maybe 253, area code 253. Notice we have a requirement here that we enter our data in parentheses. If only I could type. All right, let's see if this works. I got my fingers crossed. So if I come over here and type in uh, 253. Sure enough, it looks like it is working. So totally dynamic uh, data set here and extracting ability. We used uh, those offset function, define names with relative cell reference. Those can be quite tricky sometimes. Uh, if they don't work, you just have to go back up to the uh, into the name manager or uh, define names dialog box and check to make sure you got it correct. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.